Good morning, friends. We have already learned about the UV, UV visible spectroscopy, ultraviolet visible spectroscopy, some topics related to ultraviolet visible spectroscopy. Now, in this video, we are going to learn simultaneous analysis performed in UV visible spectroscopy. Now, this method is also called as a Vernot's method. Now, Vernot's have developed this method, and so credit goes to his name. The name is, is Vernot's method. Now, this is a simultaneous analysis. So, here absorbance is directly proportional to concentration according to Beer's law. Absorbance is directly proportional to concentration of the solution. The total absorbance of the solution is due to the absorbance of radiation due to individual absorbing species. Now, if you take the total absorbance of the solution, that is nothing but the result of the individual absorbing species some of the radiations or we can say total radiations absorbed by the absorbing species and the resultant is nothing but the total absorbance of the solution thus absorbance of the solution is extensive and additive property so extensive property is nothing but the, it depends upon the mass while additive property is nothing but the we can perform that uh, property like multiple functions like multiplication, addition, subtraction, division. Due to additivity, we can carry out mathematical operations like addition, multiplication, subtraction and division. So A is equal to A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus dash 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 plus An. So A is nothing but the total absorbance of the solution. While A1, A2, A3 and An, these are nothing but the contribution of absorbance by in total uh, individual absorbing species. According to Beer's law, A is equal to epsilon BC. Now, B is nothing but the path length, C is the concentration, and epsilon is the molar extinction coefficient. So, absorbance is equal to epsilon BC. So, this epsilon BC that can be, you can say, it is a contribution of epsilon 1, B1, C1, plus epsilon 2, B2, C2, plus epsilon 3, B3, C3, plus dash dash dash, plus epsilon N, Bn Cn. By using this property, we can perform simultaneous analysis. So, this is a method. Prepare five solutions of increasing known concentration of two air grade analyte. So, first, take two analyte analytes of air grade and prepare five solutions of known concentrations with increasing order of concentrations. Find out the lambda max of each analyte by usual method. So we have lambda 1 and lambda 2 for the lambda max value of each analyte. So for each analyte, there is the two values of lambda 1 and lambda 2. Measure the absorbance of the solution at both wavelength, lambda 1 and lambda 2. So we have the A1 and A2 that should be the absorbance of the solution for wavelength lambda 1 and lambda 2. Plot the graph of absorbance versus concentration at both lambda max and find out the slope of each line. Now slope which corresponds to epsilon that is molar extinction coefficient. So for the two uh, for the lambda 1 value we get the two epsilon values. For the lambda 2 values we get the two epsilon values. Measure the absorbance of mixture of analyte at both wavelength lambda 1 and lambda 2. Suppose these absorbance are a lambda 1 and A lambda 2. Now here, absorbance is nothing but the property of additivity. So absorbance that can be added or subtracted. So if you take the absorbance of the solution, that is nothing but the resultant epsilon 1 lambda 1 C1 plus epsilon 2 lambda 1 C2. And absorbance of lambda 2 is equal to epsilon 1 lambda 2 C1 plus epsilon 2 lambda 2 c2 on solving the above equations we get now here c1 is equal to epsilon 2 lambda 2 a lambda 1 minus epsilon 2 lambda 1 a lambda 2 divided by epsilon 1 lambda 1 epsilon 2 lambda 2 minus epsilon 2 lambda 1 epsilon 1 lambda 2 similarly for c2 we have epsilon 1 lambda 1 a lambda 2 minus epsilon 1 lambda 2 a lambda 1 divided by epsilon 2 lambda 2 epsilon 1 lambda 1 minus epsilon 1 lambda 2 
into epsilon to lambda 1. So that is nothing but the values for concentration for two analytes C1 and C2. And epsilon to lambda 2 that corresponds to uh, that cor corresponds to lambda max value molar extinction coefficient for la lambda 2. A lambda 1 that corresponds to uh, corresponds to absorbance for lambda 1. Epsilon 2 lambda 1 that corresponds to lambda max that is first lambda max value for second molar extinction coefficient. So this is all about the we can say the interpretation of the C1 and C2 values. Now example if you focus the example is nothing but the caffeine and sodium benzoate. If you take the two analytes caffeine and sodium benzoate and their mixture is prepared also for the uh, particular concentration then we get the different nature of graphs. Now that this dotted line indicates the graph for the sodium benzoate while the red line indicates the uh, caffeine while the blue line uh, dotted blue line indicates the mixture of two analytes that is a caffeine and sodium benzoate. Here if it intercept to the x axis at that time we get the lambda 1 value for the uh, for the sodium benzoate. Now lambda 2 be the value or we can say wavelength or case lambda max value for the caffeine and the last one that is nothing but the mixture that is a lambda 3. So with this you can say the last here isobestic point the here is the one point where we get the uh, we get the uh, mixtures wavelength particular wavelength or particular wavelength at point where two mixtures have the maximum concentration that is nothing but the maximum wavelength that is nothing but the isobestic point for that particular analytes mixture of analytes so this is nothing but the simple example that is a caffeine and sodium insert so we get the lambda 1 and lambda 2 here and again lambda 3 for the mixture now absorbance of absorbance of uh, lambda 1 for lambda 1 and absorbance for lambda 2 is determined similarly epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 for lambda 1 and epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 for lambda 2 is calculated and with the help of these uh, values we can calculate the concentration of caffeine and concentration of sodium benzoate so uh, this is all about the simultaneous determination in usable spectroscopy it is useful in pharmaceutical industry the method is useful for the pharmaceutical or medical industry with this content i conclude this lecture thank you very much for your patience listening